Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about how you can create a multiple language dashboard. So as an example, what I'm going to do is we're going to create a dashboard where you're going to select your language and all your titles going to change for that. Uh, by default, click does not translate the things into itself. Um, so we need to create a uh, translation for that. And for what I have done for that is I have created for all the expression that I have. So this is my base dashboard. You see it is not impacted by changing anything for now. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this dashboard to create a multilingual dashboard. There are multiple ways to do it. I'm gonna cover uh, two of the methods for now. And uh, there can be other easier ways or different ways to do that. Uh, but I think these are the most easier and most uh, um, straightforward ways, okay? So first you need to do is you need to create an expression uh, translation. So what I've done is I have created a sheet where I have the expression language, uh, expression ID, and then I have uh, the expression in each of the languages that I want. Okay, so you can have as many as languages as you want. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to <coughs> add a variable over here. Uh, sorry, I'm going to add uh, this expression, uh, this particular table, this sheet uh, into my Data. It doesn't matter where you load, you can load at the start, you can load at the end. Uh, one thing you need to make sure is that these all these um, values, all these columns should not be matching with any column. So there is no association with the existing data. Okay, so I'm going to load this one. And then I'm going to I'm going to have a look at my uh, data model view just to make sure that uh, it is not associated with any existing table. So this is my language table and it is not associated with any existing. Uh, by the way, the data model I have used uh, is a very standard one sales um, dashboard uh, that is available on click demos, etc. So you can do use that particular one, okay? Uh, or I have used this one in my other demos as well. So you can uh, look into that as well. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna create a variable. So I'm going to go in here and create a variable. You see, I have already created V language. So I'm going to this time going to create a new one called V lang one. Okay, so I'm going to create this variable here. And then I'm going to go to the custom objects here. And I'm going to add variable input box here. Uh, let's just name that select language. Okay. And then I'm going to select the variable and I'm going to add it as a drop down. Okay. So in the drop down, then I need to add some fixed values. So I'm going to add values. I'm going to say English. The value is English. Okay. So these values should be exactly uh, what I have these column labels. Uh, the reason for that, I will uh, tell you in a while. But the label, you can have anything. So for example, I can have a uh, value Urdu here. And uh, in my case, I have my dashboard, uh, which is uh, my keyboard is multilingual. So I can add uh, like, okay, so I can add this particular label here uh, for now. Or, you know, even if in case I don't have that one, I can copy it, pay, copy paste it from um, Google Translate or, what, or wherever I like, okay. And the next one is, let's say I'm gonna say Spanish. Uh, and my keyboard doesn't have Spanish, so I'm just gonna write label Spanish as well, okay? So that's done. Now, if I go in here, I can choose the language here. Okay, but it does it is not working because we haven't connected it yet, okay? The next thing we're gonna do is, we're gonna go in here and the labels should be now dynamic, okay? What I'm going to write it here, is this is very interesting one this is the important expression okay so i'm that's why i'm going to write it all the way i'm going to say write only and now instead of basically i want it coming from a field so if someone has selected english it should come english so let's say for now i'm just writing you know english okay but english has a lot of columns so if i go to my data here so the expression ID is one mean percentage. Okay, so I'm gonna say as in set analysis expression 
id i'm going to add set analysis here and i'm going to only only is basically maximum and uh, max min and maximum and the same this is a click function if you haven't know that you can just um, uh, explore it a little bit what only function does um, but it gives you the only value which we will have only one value okay so now i have it so it gives me still give you the percentage so let's just change the language here let's just say we are going to add spanish here okay okay so you see the the title has changed how to do that dynamically now okay so this is with the variable come in handy so i'm going to call the variable that i've just created here okay so let's i'm going to say we lang 1 here okay and here we go and now if i change my language so you see my first one is gonna this one is changing okay and the good thing is click by default you doesn't have to install any font or anything it detects all the fonts so that is one good thing uh, so you don't need to worry about you know whether it's appearing or not yeah the only thing that you need to do is you need to create a translation because the google translation does not work and sometimes that is also handy because if i use like you know google translators um sometimes the translations are not perfect uh they can be wrong so is as an example i am not a spanish speaker so i can you know um uh, i need to get this translation verified from a spanish speaker uh in my case i speak urdu so i know that you know some of the uh, titles were wrong which were given by the google translator or the any other translation services so i need to correct them manually okay so that is one good thing so now uh i need to do this for all these expressions and i need to do this for the titles as well okay so for example i have this title so so i basically whatever appears at the title on the dashboard i need to do that uh, there was one question i was asked that how i can i change uh, the title uh, sorry uh, the the text so like if i say spanish so can i change the uh, the titles here the country name itself so the the answer to that is we can only change whatever is in the data so for example if your data has the names in english i can show only no share uh, uh, only show the names in english uh, in some cases some erp just support that you can add multiple languages uh, for the master data so in that case we can so use the same methodology um in that there should be a language or something like that so we can use that okay uh there is another method if normally for those particular cases there is another method i'm going to come to that in a while uh you can use that particular method uh, normally because this is how the data is maintained in there uh okay so uh that is that that is one method so what i've done is i have already created a dashboard and uh, i'm going to show you that how what i have done um uh, instead of you know i have changed the expression this is two if you see this is uh, expression id3 and v language uh, so everything is same so there also i have now an expression of the uh, not only um, the measures but i also have the in the dimensions and as well as uh, the title of the charts as well so i have this expression so uh, once i done that so i need to do that for all and once i do that i can change that uh, from the right word go okay and there can be other a lot of other like you know you can smartly manage uh, your variables so for example if there is any change it it works very smoothly but uh, this is uh, one of the methods i think uh, this is more the most appropriate one okay then the next way is what uh, we can also sometimes um when in databases uh, in master data what we have is we have the data maintained in bit differently so i'm going to take this example okay so <coughs> i'm going to add it here and uh, instead of uh, we have an other column so this is i'm talking about uh, when we have um, the data and master data and maintained in different systems they have the language option as well so okay so now this is going to look like this this is going to be a normal table and let's say we we'll call it value here okay so now this is english name and what's going to we're going to have is we're going to have something similar but this time it's going to be spanish or there will be a language key or something like that okay and these will be the values okay 
and then similarly you know so this is kind of a normalized table where we have uh, uh, these values in columns uh, rows instead of the columns okay so this is kind of a normalized table here and here we go margin to margin and here we go okay so this is normally this is kind of a table we have okay so what if we have this kind of a table and i'm going to create the same language model uh, on this one as well um with having this particular model okay so and this thing then you can use uh, with the multi if your uh, software support multi languages and you have multiple languages here okay so let's what first thing we're going to do is we're going to reload the data uh with uh, this particular methodology so there are two ways i can either load that particular data that i just created or uh, i can use with the existing one uh, i can use the cross table function and the cross table normally convert these columnar tables into uh, normalized tables okay so <coughs> let's uh, if i do that and let if i show you the data model viewer now you will be able to see what exactly happened on the language one so now we see we have exactly the method that i have just shown that margin one it's like in different languages so that's uh, that's what we have over here okay okay the next thing we're going to do over here is um the next thing i'm going to have in the expression is instead of the variable now in the uh, titles i'm going to have the expression it's going to be same but instead of the variable now i'm going to use the column this particular column okay so and also i'm going to uh, so that is one thing that i need to do and other thing i going to you do that is i'm going to add a filter here so this is going to this time it's going to be just a i'm going to delete this one which is already there and i'm going to go to columns and i'm going to select the table language and i'm going to add language here as a filter okay i'm just going to add it a little okay no, sorry uh, i need to convert it to a filter box so let's just create a filter pane convert it to filter pane okay here you go okay okay now if i select english it works so i have already created uh, the same uh, expressions here so if you see instead of this variable i just have the column name okay so and this is a very robust model uh, uh, you don't need to for example in the first one if we add a new language i need to add a variable in this one i can <coughs> just go in there and add a new language it will automatically appear here so i will not need to do anything on the front end Uh, but the challenge here is if you see um, what if I select another language and it allows me to select two languages and everything breaks down. So we have a fix to that as well. So let's just select one language here, and I'm going to go add it. And in the field settings of the language, what I can do is I can say always selected one selected value. So that will make sure I always have one selected value. Okay. So I'm going to save this for now. And now even if I try to select a new value, so it always select one value and this is not going to break down. So as soon as you add a new language, it's going to automatically appear here as a value. Okay? And you can add uh, if you see, you know, in the previous uh, variable we were able to uh, add the languages in their own uh you know um in dialect uh you can add um you know even values in this one so you can add urdu in urdu or spanish in spanish uh, fonts so that is fine that will work that will not an issue at all okay so this is with multiple methods how you can create multilingual dashboards uh very easily so i have described two methods the one is involving variables uh where we have uh, in this normally this is normally this is easier to maintain if we do not have any um 
database or you know things like that so this is the better way to do that uh, because it is very smooth and very easy uh, and we do not miss any expression or anything uh, but if normally in databases sometimes we get things like this which is uh, as an example in SAP we have multiple language support and um, the master data is maintained in this way you have English name and then you have local language and there can be multiple languages for the uh, same column or say the same titles uh, in the uh, in your master data okay <clears throat> so then you can uh, if you have this kind of a scenario uh, then you can use uh, this particular method where you you call um, use column name or field uh, for the language translations okay that's it for now um, please let me know if you have any question and uh, i hope this is very useful for you